Newton's law of motion. Have you ever wondered why the box lying on the ground remain as it is? Or why an apple falling from the tree doesn't start flying? Or how does even an aeroplane fly? Today we will try to answer these common questions with the help of Newton's law of motion. But let's first look at a story. There's a guy with a normal 9 to 5 job, with decent pay, living a normal average life. Now this guy fell very much in love with a girl. But the girl insulted the guy and rejected his status. The boy took the insult personally and worked hard day and night for 5 years. Fast forward to today, he has everything, car, money, success almost anything you can think of. After all these years, the girl comes back to the guy and this time the guy walks off, rejecting the proposal of the girl. Now you might be thinking where's the Newton's law, but stick with the example and you will know. Newton's first law of motion. An object in motion will remain in motion or at rest will remain at rest unless acted upon by a force. Let's go back to the example. The guy was living a pretty decent life. An average life with a 9 to 5 job, friends, family, everything in a normal state until he fell in love with a girl and got rejected. Now this rejection was an external force which changed his life. Similarly, a ball lying will remain as it is unless someone kicks it or a ball moving will keep on moving unless someone applies a force to stop it. Generally, it's friction. Now the question comes to the mind, how much force is needed to move or stop the ball? Now this is answered by Newton's second law of motion, which states that the net force on any body is equals mass of the body times acceleration produced by the force, which means F net equals mass of the body times acceleration produced. Now let's go back to the example again. Since the love for the girl was so high, the insult which the guy felt was high too. If it had been a normal crush, the guy would have forgotten within the days and come back to his normal life. But the force of insult was so high that it made him work hard for 5 years. Similarly, greater the net force on the body, greater will be the acceleration produced. Suppose for an apple falling from the tree. Now this apple experiences a force due to gravity towards downwards. So we can write f of g equals mass of the apple times acceleration produced by the force. Now this acceleration is generally denoted by g whose value is 9.8 meter per second square. But gravity is not the net force acting every time. So the question is, what is the net force acting on a body? This is answered by Newton's third law of motion. It states that every action has equal and opposite reaction. Let's go back to the example again. After 5 years, the girl proposes the guy and the guy rejects and walks off. Now this rejection was equal and opposite to the insult which the guy felt 5 years earlier. A ball hitting the surface produces an action. The surface hits back the ball with equal and opposite force which is the reaction. Always remember the action and reaction occurs in a pair and between the two objects. Now let's answer some of the common questions. If action is equals to reaction, how does even things move? Now comes the law of conservation of momentum in the picture. Suppose a ball is, hits, is hitting the earth, which is the action. The earth hits back the ball with equal and opposite force, which is the reaction. Now according to law of conservation of momentum, mu equals to mv where small m being the mass of the ball, u being the velocity of the ball, capital M being the mass of the earth, v being the velocity of the earth. 
since the mass of the ball is very very less as compared to the mass of the earth to keep the equations equal the velocity of the ball must be very very high as compared to the velocity of the earth means we see the ball moving but the earth doesn't the second common question which comes to the mind is how do we work with equations let's take a example of a box which is hanging from the ceiling through a rope now step 1 is to decide the system here the system is the rope and the box anything outside of it is out of the system the second step is to identify the forces here the two forces acting are force of gravity towards downward and tensile force of the rope towards up the third step is to make a free body diagram and the fourth step is to choose the axis and write down the equations since the box in the is in the equilibrium and the two forces are in the same axis we can simply write the force of gravity is equals to tensile force of the rope now if you have trouble remembering the law just remember the story and how each part of the story relates to newton's law if this video helped you please share and subscribe